Hi there, Simon from Manchester Wine School here. And um, uh, Sunday night is getting you know, it's dark outside now. Um, and um, apologies. Uh, first of all, apology for uh, this jumper. I've had it on quite a bit this last week. So if you've seen it in a few videos, I apologise for that. Second apology. I'm on the squeaky chair. So apologies for that. Um, maybe I, I ought to oil it. But no apology for the wine. Uh, the wine is Gigal's Cote de Rhone 2016. Now, you're in a, a, a restaurant, you're in a wine shop, and you don't recognise any of the wines on the shelves or on the list. What do you do? There are a few beacons of light that uh, appear in, thankfully, quite a lot of places around uh, Britain, around the world, and um, shh, be quiet, chef. Um, and n there are names that you see and you just suddenly go, Ah, oh, old friend, I'm so glad to see you. And um, I think about the, the, the ones in, um, uh, where, where I see them, if I, if I see Conchi Toro on a label, I, I usually think, okay, that's gonna be decent. Um, if I see Villa Maria, or if I see Penfolds, um, if I see, um, well, Torres in from Spain, and uh, if I'm in the, if I see Gigal from the Rhone, suddenly I'm going, ah, oh, I might not recognise any of the rest of the, li rest of the list, but here's something that I'm at least comfortable with. Um, this was just something I, we, we've been out for a, a reasonably longish walk today, probably slightly too long for um, some people's uh, recommendations. I think it took over an hour. Anyway, just us and the family. And, um, and I've come back and uh, cooking slightly late. And uh, this was sitting there on the wine rack going, hello, drink me. Um, so it's the, uh, it's the 2016 red. The white is pretty good as well. Uh, but uh, what I like here, it's, it does what it should do. It's spicy, it's rich, it's juicy, it's fragrant. Um, and it's got a bit of a punch to it. And it's got a feeling that, I mean, this is already three and a half years old. Uh, but it's still young and feisty, and it, 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 uh, if I wanted to, I could probably keep bottles of this for another three or four years, and it would be going down pretty well. But today, um, it's 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 got that lovely, brambly, herby, spicy, punchy and pungent, a little bit of white pepper on the finish, just what I want. Classic midweek sausage and mash wine. Uh, it's it's the weekend, so we haven't had sausage and mash. Uh, but we've, it's one of those days when we've had several bits of leftover meals in the fridge. And rather than just thinking we'll all have the same thing, you have a bit of that, you have a bit of that. I want to say this coat really well with all of them. Uh, so I'm enjoying it. Um, sadly, that's all I've got left. But uh, I'll enjoy that final bit. Hopefully you've had a good weekend and uh, hopefully you're safe and you and yours are safe. And uh, I'll see you at some point very soon. Bye.